also play competitive rugby and you know, physique bodybuilding. Hey, I'm two. I'm, uh, I've been lifting for four to five years or so. Uh, I have a bio degree and I'm currently a student. I'm uh, Eric. I've been lifting for nine years. Um, I coach, coach uh, varsity wrestling at a high school and I teach elementary PE. We're going to do a review on a company called Naked Lift More. Um, today we're going to specifically talk about the Lift More Euro shorts. Uh, we're all wearing them. Um, throughout the video you'll see us doing uh, some exercises just to basically demonstrate or, or show you what it looks like on camera. I really enjoyed the versatility of the shorts. They're lightweight, they're stretched with you. No matter which movement you're doing, what angle you're going with, um, they let your legs move freely throughout the leg workout and you're just all around solid product. Yeah, I could, I could see them being good for not only uh, not only using the gym, but also in a sports setting. Um, they, they allow the leg to move freely, they don't bind. Um, they've got, they're not only short enough that your knee's not getting caught, but then also they, they have a wide enough leg opening to allow them to move. Um, you know, being a wrestling coach, I can see, I can see my wrestlers wearing these in practice because um, it, it closely mimics a singlet without, without being an actual singlet. But as far as as far as use in the gym, uh, you know, I always find that longer shorts bind up on my knees when I squat and do deadlifts. Um, doesn't really affect, affect my performance, but it takes my mind off of what I'm doing. Uh, takes my takes my focus off the lift. And I felt like these shorts really uh, they they allowed me to keep my mind where I wanted it to be, which was on on lifting the weight. Yeah, one thing that specifically affected me was um, the pocket. Like I, I've been looking for shorts with with pockets that are pre that are free flowing. If they're sewn in, but they swivel, like you can see. Um, so when you're doing lunges or you're squatting, and say you've got your phone because you don't have like wireless headphones or something, you just keep your phone in your pocket. It, when you're going down, it, it swivels to the side, so it's not stuck in front like this, and you feel like you're gonna rip your pants or anything. So that's one thing I really liked about it. And then if you're not doing a leg workout, if you're doing a chest workout or something with dumbbells and you go to put a dumbbell down on your thigh to rest, exactly. you're not smashing your phone or your iPod or yeah. you know, whatever whatever's in your pocket isn't isn't being damaged by the by the weight. So one thing I've noticed as I've been using it at rugby practice is that they're lightweight, uh, the air free flows through them, they're not you know, a thick cotton short or um, and the uh, stitch pattern on the thighs are great because they, they just hold up to being pulled uh, in tackles and in drills. Uh, and you have that, that motion of being able to go up and down, side to side. I, I really like how the shorts come in a variety of colors. Um, they, you know, they come in you know, your typical navies and blacks and grays, but then they come in some brighter colors like neon yellow and orange, um, greens. They come in uh, you know, a variety of colors that allows you to kind of show your own personal style, um, match your shoes, match your shirt, um, and really, you know, look when you when you walk into the gym, look like you're, you know, you're you're there with a purpose um, that you didn't just you know throw on some random stuff. Everything everything you put on your body was there intentionally for a purpose. As far as the length goes, um, not only is it functional, but it's also aesthetic. Uh, you know, for someone like myself who has a larger, a larger thigh, um, and it really accentuates, uh, you know, all the work that I've been doing in the gym. Shows, um, shows off the thigh uh, from every angle, and uh, really just allow, allows me while I'm while I'm in the gym or while I'm walking down the street to not only see myself, uh, the fruits of my labor, but also allow others to, you know, see, hey, this guy's got some big legs. In terms of uh, washing or care for the shorts, they uh, we have had these shorts for a couple of months now um, and it, I mean you just wash it just like any other article of clothing I mean just like t-shirts just drop them in with your t-shirts or something um, you know cold machine wash dry right after it you no know, it doesn't really matter uh, as far as quality goes they haven't really worn down at all like I said we've had them for a couple months they're in basically brand new condition so there's a constant wear and tear on these things and they're they're holding up really well no, no shrinking helps that as well. Yeah, and on top of you guys, you know, working out, because 
consistently every day. You guys also play sports too as well, like yeah. rugby practice and all that. Yeah. So. Yeah. Very limited on grass stains, mud stains. As far as pricing goes, they're pretty freaking affordable. Like they're they're not expensive at all if you go. Um, I and mean, I don't want to call out other companies, but if you go, you know, somewhere else looking for shorts, uh, specifically like this. That We've been looking for shorts like this for a long time. That fits and that criteria. That, that's yeah, I've really been looking for yeah. a shorter workout short, um, you know, that's not cotton. Uh, all the all the shorter models of shorts by other companies that I found are, are made of cotton, and so they they hold moisture. They uh, you know they'll shrink up. They're they're just not. It's not it's not the same as the, the dry dry fit or like wicking material. Um, that the naked shorts use. As far as pricing, they're pretty affordable. Um, cheaper than a lot of other brands. Uh, the, but as, like I said, they're affordable. The only bad thing about it is that it's, it's an Australian company. And so it comes from, obviously it ships from Australia, so the shipping costs might be a little higher. And the... Um, or, but Ship time, the delivery time, delivery is a little bit time. longer. Exactly. So, so it'll take you, take it, take it a little while to get to you. But, um, like I said, the, the shorts in general are are affordable. The affordability of these shorts are just amazing. They're less than most of the things that you find in your average, you know, retailer or you know, sporting goods store. Uh, the uniqueness to them uh, upsells the that they're low price as well. I would say. Going through this um, whole process of having new shorts, getting one, ordering more, um, it's really hard to find any kind of con to it. Um, with that being said, the only thing to keep in mind is it's an Australian company, which adds to the uniqueness, uh, but delivery time is a little longer than getting it in the continental United States. Um, and the delivery, um, the shipping cost is slightly higher, uh, but still makes it just as affordable as going out and getting another pair of shorts from you know any other sports uh, apparel shop. As far as uh, the, we're, we're just going to go back to the length, talk about that a little real quick. It's it's a little subjective, but um, it, you know some some people might be uncomfortable because they are really short. They're they're shorter than the average pair of shorts that anyone wears in the gym. Um, but like Eric said, you know, it does accentuate your quad, your quad. So you know, if you're hitting leg day once, you know, like twice a week or something, and you really want to show up your quads, it is good for that. Um, but like I said, uh, you do want to look into the sizing chart that's on there if you're thinking about ordering these, um, and just to get an idea of how long they really are. They're they're pretty short. Well, Naked Liftborn not only offers these model shorts, but they also offer other models of shorts and tops and other uh, other workout apparel um, that is not only fashionable but it also represents the same brand they coordinate colors um, and you know it, they offer a lot of variety in the, in the uh, types of apparel that they they offer um, you know stringer tanks uh, things of that sort that are that are very popular in the, in the workout industry the, the fitness industry um, they're, they're really keeping up with the times as far as um, what what consumers are looking for uh, in workout apparel. Another thing we could highlight is the customer service. Uh, we, it's not that we had problems with the shorts or anything, but you know, before we ordered them, we did ask some questions, and they were really quick to get back to us. Uh, emailed us within 24 hours, so I mean, uh, that right there is a testament to how dedicated they are to providing good customer service. So. I think on their site they do have listed under the message box, we will respond within 24 hours. Yeah. So they're dedicated to hearing you and responding immediately by Yeah, they, de hours. they definitely want customer input. Um, they, they invite questions about their products. because uh, And that just shows me that they truly believe in, in the product they're producing. Um, that they, they truly believe that um, you know offering that customer service is going to is going to overshadow anything like you know shipping times and, and high, higher shipping prices, um, you know because ultimately if, if the consumer's questions are being answered, um, you know they, they feel more comfortable making the purchase. Yeah, I mean if you're if you're a serious lifter, uh, spending five extra bucks for a little bit of shipping on some really good quality shorts is nothing.
like you're willing to spend the money. You know, I mean, you're spending money on protein. You're you, you're spending money on the occasional junk food. You know, I mean, you you, you have the money for it. Just spend it. it. They're really good quality shorts. Haven't been let down. Shorts are great for a variety of purposes. They're great for sports. Um, you know, I, as I said, as a wrestling coach, I can see these shorts being implemented this coming wrestling season. I could I could get a few pairs and uh, you know say ask my kids to try them out. Um, let them know the website. Uh, rugby is, a, is another sport that, that they're, they're great for. Um, but also, I can see runners wearing them. You know, they're, they're the same length as a lot of uh, a lot of running shorts out there. Um, but I know for for me as a male, one of the things I don't like about running shorts is the built-in briefs. Um, you know, I like to wear my own compression gear under them, um, and so that's that's one thing I like about these is that if I'm going for a run, I can put on my compression shorts, and put these shorts on. The length is perfect, but they don't have that built-in brief. Um, that sometimes, you know, gets caught or causes shape, um, things like that. Um, yeah, it lives up to the name of me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah when, I, when I wear them around the house, I, I feel like I'm not wearing clothes at all. <laughs> Just based off the quality of the shorts, you know, very excited to, you know, four more of their apparel, the stringers, um, any type of hoodies that they had, test those out, and See how they match up against everything else on the market. And just based off the of shorts, I have a great feeling that they're going to do really well. Yeah, just keep an eye out, guys. We will be doing other reviews on uh, most likely their other products. So uh, just based on these shorts, amazing, amazing shorts. Uh, you won't be disappointed. So, uh, like I said, keep an eye out for maybe some stringers or tanks, maybe some t-shirt. Um, just other apparel by Naked Lift More. So. Uh, for more information about how to purchase your own pair of Naked Lift More shorts, uh, you can go to nakedliftmore.com. That's N A K D liftmore.com. Um, there you can find uh, pricing information for not only the shorts that we're reviewing, but also for all of their other workout apparel. Uh, you can also find links to their eBay uh, website and also to their Instagram and Facebook. Website. We hope that all of the things that we've talked about, um, about the Naked Lift More shorts, have helped you to better understand the product, uh, see the pros and cons of, of not only the product themselves, but also the purchasing process and, uh, and the company itself. Um, we hope that you, know, you are now a better informed consumer and can you know, make, make an informed decision on, uh, on your, your choice of workout apparel. Thanks again for watching. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you next time.